Vroom. Merry Christmas. Oh, wait. This isn't a Christmas truck. Well, it is about to be. A person who wanted me to do the a fall truck with the pumpkin hauler uh, that I did, that custom I did, uh, wanted me to do a Christmas truck. So it's going to be a, a red Christmas truck with a Christmas tree in the back. It's going to look really cool. Now, I normally don't like doing a customs, especially modern customs of a modern. Uh, this is a matchbox that I bought today. So, uh, you know, you can get these all over the place. I normally don't like doing these. I prefer to fix up old cars, either full restorations or, uh, you know, as close to a restoration as I can get. But, you know, sometimes you got to do something special, and that's what I'm going to do. So, let's get this guy apart, and we're gonna, I have a vision for a Christmas truck. So this should be a lot of fun. Ho, ho, ho! And bam, comes right apart. It's a Christmas miracle. And uh, we've got this grill, kind of a weird, weird piece. Separate piece for the grill. Interior, we're gonna change this, the color of the interior because gray ain't what we're looking for. Normal glass, nothing special there. And the body. You know, look at this body. Uh, Matchbox did not do a great job on this thing. Uh, it's not showing up good. But the paint is not great at all. It's not fully covered. You can actually see casting in there. Look underneath here. Yeah. I usually think of Matchbox as being pretty high quality, but not this time. Okay, let's get this guy into the stripper tank, and then we'll let the fun begin. I generally leave him in the stripper tank overnight, so uh, that's what we'll do. We'll see him again in the morning. I might keep these wheels. They're not terrible, but I am going to want to change the color of this base, which uh, means the easiest thing is just to take these wheels off instead of masking them. You can mask them, but... Yeah, it can lead to problems. And with this plastic base, removing them so easy. Just cut off a few tabs there. Cut off a tab there. And they pop right out. Ooh, almost hit me in the face. Oh, this one needs a little bit more work. Now I want the interior to be green, but the bed to be black and the grill to be black. So uh, I'm just going to mask this off so I can paint the interior green. Also, I think I should do this in area down here because I think you can see that underneath the body. Very simple masking job. You can be kind of sloppy because we have these a lot of areas that aren't seen. That makes it really easy. I know I show putting the car in the stripper tank pretty often, but I don't shave taking it, taking it out. And it's kind of gross. So basically, I fish it out with a hook and just Kind of sit here for a while while it all drips off. Not all of it, just a lot of it. And then I'll go wash it off in the sink. And this is what it looks like all stripped off. Pretty nice casting, actually. I really like the um, Matchbox castings. I like how they look like real vehicles instead of fantasy ones. And not a lot to do with this one. A little bit I'm going to clean up in these windows. But after that, we're just going to straight paint it. I've been asked to paint it uh, Christmas red, so I'm going to use this Tester's Gloss Red. I think it's going to be perfect. First, I need to prime this white. Um, that'll give me the brightest red possible. And um, film me well on our way. The nice thing about this Tester's is that it's an enamel. And uh, the way it dries, I can do the details in acrylic. And if I mess up, I can erase the acrylic using um, rubbing alcohol without damaging the enamel. So that's my plan, and um, so let's uh, get this guy primed up. I really enjoy painting with testers. It goes on really easy. It's an easy paint to, uh, to shoot. I just thin it with this uh, testers enamel thinner. It, uh, it works good. I'm sure there's other things you can use it with. This is what I use it. And the uh, consistency that I get is just pretty thin. That again comes down to preference and what you find works for you. The only negative thing about the tester's paint is that it takes a long time to dry. I have a drying booth that I've been using 
with limited success. Joy to the world, the paint is dry. Let's not mess up the details. And just to ensure I don't mess up the details too bad, which I've already done a little bit, I'm gonna do this off camera because this is just so hard to do in front of the camera. I'm gonna have these detailed all done up when we get back. The paint did okay. I have a little bit of orange peel I'm not super happy about. Usually doesn't happen with testers, but I haven't shot in a while, so I must have messed up. But I think the clear coat will fix that up, no problem. It looks a lot more deep and cherry red than it does on the video right now. Um, for some reason, it's just not showing up real well. Now this is a little fiddly, but my plan is to strap the Christmas tree to the truck using this string that looks like a rope. And what I've done is I drilled a hole in the base and just tied a knot so that it can't come through. So I need to do that on this side. And I love this little, I call it a finger drill. I don't know what it's actually called. I use it all the time. Okay, it's about time to put this guy all together. It's gonna be a little tricky, to be honest. Especially with my dog barking in the background. Sorry about that. Sometimes you cannot tame the poodle. It's gonna go like that. So next, I need to figure out how much I need for the Christmas tree. Yeah, I'm probably gonna catch some flack for this, but I just kept the wheels that were there. I, I like them. The uh, looks like they have a a uh, hubcap. And I think they just look cool. Let's stick that in. That does not look good. There we go. Vroom, vroom, vroom. And here we are, all finished, our Christmas tree hauler. Simple customization, nothing special, but I think it looks really nice and I think it'll look great on the uh, shelf uh, for my friend. Hope you and your family have a great Christmas or whatever holiday you and your family celebrate. Hope you guys have a great holiday and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye. Vroom, vroom.